So we have a question here that asks us to find the amplitude of the sun at sunrise and we're given some information that's going to help us um, help us to do that. Specifically we need to start by finding the GMT um, and then from there calculate the amplitude and the true bearing and then find compass errors for the gyro and magnetic compasses and the deviation. The information we're given um, includes the date, the 12th of March 1977, the latitude of 47 degrees 3.1 south and the longitude of 025 17.8 west. So we're in a southerly latitude, 47 3.1 and we're in a westerly longitude of 025 17.8. There's a gyro bearing of the sun given and we also have the headings of the gyromagnetic compasses and finally we have variation. Um, so we're going to just work through the process of, of getting the compass errors and the deviation um, from this. So to begin with we want to know the GMT of the amplitude of the sun at sunrise um, and for this we need the, the nautical almanac. So the first thing we're going to do is turn to the page for the 12th of March. And you can see on the right hand side of the page you have various LMTs shown. Now the LMT is the, the, the local mean time. It's the time that we're going to apply our longitude in time to in order to get back to GMT. And it's important to remember here that if you are in a westerly longitude, you're going to be keeping a time behind GMT. Um, and if you're in an easterly longitude, you're going to be keeping um, an, a time that's ahead of GMT. And that's going to influence the way in which we apply longitude in time to our LMT. However, before we can apply longitude in time, we will need to apply a correction for latitude. If you look down this column, we're given the LMT of various events in the celestial day um, in terms of these latitudes. Now there are gaps in this, so in the question we're given a latitude of 47 degrees 3.1 south. So here's zero degrees of latitude, you've got all your north latitudes there and your south ones down here. If you just read down the southerly latitudes you're looking for 47 3.1 now we've got 45 south and we've got 50 south, so our LMT will lie somewhere between these two. And we're looking at sunrise, so we're going to read down this column, and it's going to be sometime between 549 at 50 degrees south and 552 LMT at 45 degrees south. So I'm just going to make a note of those. Now in order to find the find the LMT for 47 degrees 3.1 we're required to do some interpolation. In this case a linear interpolation so your, your basic method of interpolation finding this gap um, and this gap and dividing the smaller figure by the larger figure and multiplying it by the gap between these two and then applying the result to the time for the earlier time. A straightforward linear interpolation isn't going to get you a totally accurate result. The earth is curved and the change in the time or the LMT of sunrise with latitude isn't perfectly steady. So in the almanac there's a table that enables us to work out this gap um, using a method of interpolation that isn't quite um, like the one that we normally use. We will still be looking for all of these values, but we're going to give them specific names. So firstly, this gap here between 45 and 50 south, that's known as the tabular interval. And in this case, that is equal to 5 degrees. The next value we need 
is the gap between my latitude and the lower latitude. So always between my latitude and the, the lower latitude. So the lower latitude is 45 degrees and the difference in this case is 2 degrees 0.3.1 minutes. So that's the difference. The final item that we need here is the difference in time. So here from 5.49 to 5.52 we've got a three minute difference. Armed with all this information I'm going to turn to the back of the almanac. So you're looking at page 32 at the back of the almanac and this table is going to be used to find the difference between the LMT 45 degrees south and the LMT for our latitude. Um, the difference between um, these two, the tabular interval, is where I'm going to enter the table. I'm going to enter the table at 5 degrees. And I'm going to read down that column until I find the difference between my latitude and the lower latitude. The closest value I can find is the, the 2 degree value. Now you don't need to interpolate between the rows of this table, so I'm quite happy to, to remain in this row. Um, you just have to pick the closest value to your difference between your latitude and the lower latitude. So in this case, two degrees um, will suffice. Um, we're going to read across then until we're under the number of minutes that's closest to our time difference. Now our time difference here is three minutes, so that's closest to five. So I'm just going to read along this row until I've got the time difference at five minutes, and that's two. So my time difference, you might see this referred to as the increment, um, is two minutes. And I'm going to apply that two minute difference to the time for the lower latitude. Now this is earlier, um, at 50 degrees south, the time of sunrise is actually earlier than the LMT 45 degrees south. So I'm going to be subtracting that two minutes. And that will give me an LMT at 47 degrees 3.1 south of 0550. This can now form the basis of my calculation of GMT. In order to find GMT from an LMT, we have to find the longitude in time. And we do this by dividing our longitude by 15. So we take 25 degrees 17.8. Going to divide that by 15. And the result of that will give us an hour and 41 minutes. So in your calculator, 25 degrees, 17.8 divided by 15. And that answer actually comes out in degrees, minutes and seconds, um, which equate to hours, minutes and seconds. So you can see that an hour and 41 minutes um, is our LIT. We're not too worried about these seconds because we're only going to be able to find declination to the nearest minute and that will be adequate to get our amplitude. So you can actually um, round this and get rid of those 11.2 seconds. So our longitude in time is 0141. And because it's a westerly longitude, we're going to add that on. Remember the GMT we would expect to be later than our local time because we're in the Western Hemisphere. Um, so the time will tend to be 
um, well the time will be behind that in Greenwich so I'm actually going to add that on in order to get GMT and as a result I get a GMT of 0731